But, all right, so the Road Warriors were, of course, uh, being managed by Paul Ellering, and here, and, and you would be too, but it really seemed like most every heel at the time was being managed by Paul. Yeah, um, when we had Paul Ellering, we had you know, the Road Warriors, and we added the spoiler. The spoiler, and I know that like when yeah. you first came in, Buzz Sawyer was being uh, managed by him. I want to say like King Kong Bundy got no, involved for a no, 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 no Buzz Sawyer managing them. No, oh, I, I thought for sure Ellering was with I, th- he was coming out for all the promos with him and shit. Oh, maybe Ellering was with Buzz. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like before this would have been like right before you came in, and actually, okay. part of our notes is him turning on but no, Ellering. no, uh, uh, Bundy turned on Ellering. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, that. That was a great setup, man. I set that all up. That was your whole story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, phenomenal it, stuff. See, the thing is, we were talking about how great the Legion of Doom is. Even we make our manager stay in shape. So we made Paul Ellering do step-ups for the whole two hours. Oh, my God. While he read the stock market paper, New York uh, – what is it? The stock market. The uh, the Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal. He read the Wall Street Journal while he did step ups for two hours. I bet he didn't blow up either because he was. He in, didn't. He was in phenomenal shape. He didn't. The man, I made it a fucking rib, brother. <laughs> when they went to commercial break, I said, "Don't you dare stop in commercial break." There's there's a live studio audience. You can't live stop. Live studio audience, and that'll get out. <laughs> so he did it. So I bet he didn't complain either, man. No, he just- didn't. Just and in. so we, we talked about how what great athletes we were and all this and that. And all of a sudden they start showing these Bundy clips. So I told I told Gordon, so just mention that you hear there's a rumor that Bundy may be joining the Legion of Doom. And so when he does that, Ellering goes off on him. Let me tell you this, Gordon Soli. And Gordon's like, we're still on the air. Just a minute. Because they were going to show another clip, right? Mm-hmm. And Ellery's not waiting. No, I'm going to tell you right now. That fat pig. <laughs> that you think that fat pig would be a part of the Legion of Doom makes me want to throw up right here on you. And he's and, and the whole time, Gordon's going, Paul, oh, you're still on the air. <laughs> you know, but Paul just keeps talking about, we train hours and hours every day. You think he's ever trained in anything? What, lifting a fork? <laughs> you know, blah, blah, blah. I just kept on ranting about how fat he was and all this shit. Well, I had Bundy come out there, grab him, toss him into the ring and go after him. Mm-hmm. But the road warriors got there in time to jerk his legs out from under him and save him. That's Man. that's an angle. Yep. That is what you call good, cohesive storytelling. Yes. Jake, I have to admit, Paul Ellering, he's, he's he was a huge blind spot for me in my fandom. Uh, I never really got to see much of his stuff because I'm watching it back here now with GCW. It's yeah. just incredible. But, you know, like I said, he's all over this program. Uh, oh, what, yeah. made, what, what exactly made him the right man for the job being so well featured? Well, he was good for the Road Warriors. He kept him on a level plane because the Road Warriors trusted him. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a Minnesota boy, too. You know, and uh, Paul was a great power lifter. I mean, he'd bench press over 500, uh, squatted, I don't know, 800, something like that. So the Road Warriors respected him. So he could keep them on an even keel, which was very, 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 very important. <laughs> 